They have come from Massillon and Middletown, from Cleveland and Columbus. They have come to show allegiance to the scarlet and gray of the Ohio State University Buckeyes. They have come from Brownsville and Dumas, from Seguin and Sonora. They have come here from El Paso and Houston, wearing the maroon and white of the beloved Texas A&M Aggies. They have come to Dallas, more than 75,000 of them, for the 51st annual Cotton Bowl Classic. But until today, until this moment, no team from the Big Ten has ever been on this field on New Year's Day. And so, for the first time in Cotton Bowl Classic history, with a crowd of 75,000 urging them on, here come the Buckeyes of the Ohio State University. champions this year of the Southwest Conference, the Aggies of Texas A&M University and their head coach, Jackie Sherrill. time in Cotton Bowl Classic history, a member of the Big Ten is a visiting team. Rod Harris at the one. To the 21 of the AM offense. Well, the backfield is very difficult to defend because of different types of weapons. Murray the quick thrower. Roger Fick, 220 pounds right up the middle. Woodside, a tremendous receiver, 52 receptions. And of course, Bo Bernstein, the tight end, likes to work the middle. Tony Thompson filling in for Rod Harris today. Walker, very good on corner routes. First down, 10, Kevin Murray, player of the year in the Southwest Conference. And this team averages 440.2. Murray will throw into the wind on first down. Left side incomplete. Big enough to pass protect big tackles. They can push those defensive ends right past the quarterback. And they're also big enough, really, to match up, go hat against hat, open up some big holes for Vic, the big 220-pound fullback. As you look at the size, watch Marshall land, 340 pounds. Second down and 10. And again, Murray will throw a little flip right side to Rod Bernstein, number 29. Places a third and 12. Opening sequence of the ball game. Blitz is coming. They'll do that all day, and Bernstein burns them. All the way to the 43. First down and 10, Texas A&M from the 43. And off Roger Vick. Across midfield to the Ohio State 47. 13 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Good A&M drive thus far. Bernstein in motion and Murray to throw. Five-man rush across the middle and incomplete. Flag is thrown. The three down people, there's only one senior in there. And of course, they're a football team that the strength of this ball club, there's the only senior right there, is in their in their linebackers. Camaro, the leading sack man at the outside backer. All American Chris Spielman, who's a great player. Michael Key, who just had that interference call, is the only senior in that group. Derek Eisman, the other outside linebacker, who's intercepted three passes. And in the secondary, you've got, this is probably the most underrated secondary. They've picked off 18 passes during the course of the year. And the key is Sonny Gordon, who's had six of them, and is the number two tackler on the Ohio State Buckeye defensive team. If that changes their defensive scheme. And off to Roger Vick. First down, A&M at the 32. And the Aggies have a first down at the Ohio State 32-yard line. Roger Vick again, big hold of the 25. And here's a quick pitch to Roger Vick, does a high hurdle, and is inside the 20 to the 19. Now he's kept it on the ground, it's first and 10 at the 19. He'll throw again. Good job of looking off the play, but he throws into double coverage from the eye this time on second and 10. Pitch out, Woodside. Breaks the tackle, spins out of another, it'll be at the 15-yard line. Third down and five. Bernstein in motion. 
Murray looks his way, fires it toward him, incomplete. Oh, Had him there. Here is Scott Slater, 100 points this year as a place kicker in the Southwest Conference, and he gets it, the former walk-on. The sophomore from Fort Worth gets his 22nd field goal this year, and the Aggies have an early lead. Scott Slater kicks off for the Aggies. The deep men are Everett Ross, number five, and Katie Holland, number six. Strip kick picked up at the 23, and they come right, and what a collision at the 28. And there's an example of this enthusiasm by George Cooper and Vince Workman, the sophomore. And Carsados will throw, left side, pass is complete. Chris Carter, the All-American wide receiver, is knocked out of bounds. Well, this is a very balanced offensive football team, unlike the teams of past Buckeyes where they ran the ball more often than they passed, but now they're about a 50-50 team. Vince Workman right there has had three consecutive 100-yard games. He's the runner. The passer, of course, is Carsadas, and the great receiver is Chris Carter, 65 receptions, 27 career touchdown passes. Second down and three, three-nothing A&M leads. Jamie Holland is the motion man. The option play, a late pitch. They work it left and up the sidelines and out of bounds. I think Earl Bruce is to be complimented for taking a very young offensive line. Four of them will return. Two of them sophomores, one freshman. The anchor, of course, is Bob Maggs, two-time All-Big Ten center, really a great football player, but the rest of them will be back, and, back, and I think they've done a, an unusually fine job considering their youth. First and 10, Buckeyes. They've got the ball at the 40, trailing 3-0. Nate Harris is the motion man, and Sarsato's hands it off. Vince Workman, number 42. And one of the keys today is Ohio State has a big offensive line. Can these down three hold up? The strength, really, in this defense is the linebackers. Steve Bullitt on one outside, but Johnny Holland, the All-American on the inside, much like Chris Spielman, can chase plays down from behind, has that kind of speed. No gain on the last play, second down and 10, Ohio State. Two-step drop, drill left side, completed. J.B. Holland, nope, incomplete, third and ten. Play fake, and Carsados goes deep with time and the win. It's caught, Nate Harris to the seven. Oh, come on, Pat, you could have thrown one like that. I doubt that, I doubt that. Nine minutes to go, first quarter. Workman works left, wiggles through for a couple to the five-yard line to Nate Harris. Procedure call now against Ohio State. Jim Bryant is number 41. He's joined the backfield. There's the option. And Carsados keeps to the to the 10-yard line. Second down and 10. Jim Carsados, fifth-year senior. Two-step drop. Lob pass. Right side. Carter intercepted. Jack Brooks playing before a hometown crowd. 7.56 to go first quarter, and they lead it by three. Hand off to Roger Vick again. I remember back when I played, 1972 and 73, we wore red shoes. And you were a great one. Thank you. Let's go back upstairs. Roger Vick bounces off the tackle. What a terrific effort. And he's got another A&M first down. I'll go against the red shoes as well. <laughs> I think they'd be great on the ballet stage. Here's the pitch out. What side to the 32. Telecast for CBS. And Lindsay, we're thinking about you, and we wish you well. What a catch by Bernstein, and it's the first tackle that is missing. Only in his second year as a tight end. He caught six in the Scott Bowl a year ago. Pitch out. Woodside. Uh, second down and eight. Texas A&M with a 3-0 lead. Left side, it's Woodside again. Tries a little juke, and it doesn't work for much. That play was designed to run inside, and he just breaks it right to the outside. Third and two. They come to the boundary side, the short side of the field, and it is stuck. Roger Vick. This may be one of the few ball games we'll see where both backup quarterbacks are the first team punters. Their stumps kick into the end zone. Play fake again. Garzados in trouble. They're going to have to hurry to get the playoff before the 25 second clock. They do. Blood the left side, passes out, almost oh, intercepted. Ooh ho! Initial plan is to use him in the second quarter. It's third and 17. Five-man rush, Carsados gets rid of it. That's up for grabs. Oh, oh. Man. 
There's Chris Garner with that 38-inch vertical leap. That's exactly what I was talking about. He was covered well. After converting the third and 17, that last play to Chris Carter. That's a motion call, the legal procedure. Result. First and 15, 2.20 to go. First quarter, 3 0. AM leads. Quick pitch out to the right side. Nate Harris makes the grab. We got Carter singled here. Second down, Garsados. Screen pass, left side. Nicely set up. George Cooper, the fullback for the AM 46. John Hutchinson, the extra tight end, is in motion. They'll come right, cut back left, Workman, first down at the 39. Started out the season operating with uh, John Woldridge, alternating rather, and Woldridge went out with an injury against Alabama. Here's Carsados, looking deep and firing that way, and he's got a man wide open. Jamie Holland, who's got super speed. And we'll be right back after this message and a word from your local station. <laughs> Double tight end set. And a motion to the left side. Excellent defensive surge led by Kip Corrington, number 10. Look for the option here. Option play, Carsados. Nice oh. decision by Carsados. Touchdown, Ohio State. That's a nice play. Well, you take a look at Jim Carsados. He's the last guy you'd expect to be running the option. Oh, no, he has run the option the last two years. Uh... It's good, and the passing of Jim Carsados puts him into position for the touchdown. He is 6 of 9 now for 143. He's a sophomore, one of 14 players in the Dallas area for AM. Into the wind, a short kick. Mm. Harris at the 21, comes right, has some room. Out of bounds at the 44. Aggies trailing 7-3, to 14-13 to go, and they spread it out to the left side. Nobody in the backfield. And whistles blow. Procedure call, Texas a &M. First down and 15 now. And the handoff goes left, that won't go anywhere, Roger Vick. Second down and 15, saw the graphic with Spielman and Johnny Holland, two of the better linebackers in the country. They look for Bernstein. Here's the nimble-footed effort of Kevin Murray, and he's able to get only to the 40-yard line. And Kevin Murray says he'll decide after this game. Looks like they're blitzing. Indeed they are. Murray reads it, fires it on a line to midfield. Ooh, didn't quite get the first down. Here's Todd Schantz, a fifth-year senior from Richardson, suburb of Dallas. And that kick takes an Ohio State bounce back to the 12. But he's very cool, poised. He can run the option, has a good arm. First down 10. 6'5", Jr. from Brexville, Ohio. And that works out to the 15-yard line. 11 55 to go in the first half. Ohio State leads 7-3. Option the option. play. And the pitch. Workman. Boy, what a nice job Seth Brooks did. Auburn leading 14-7 fourth quarter. Third down and four. Flags are down, and so is the ball carrier. And I think Dead ball foul. Call. Third and ten. Here they come again. Blitz. Mm. Ooh. Rod Sadler, number 99. 43-6, but he is kicking into this breeze at 13 miles an hour. Not good. Out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. And they've got terrific field position now to the short punt. And off to Roger Vick on the first play after Moxley came in. Four-man rush for Ohio State. Murray almost oh, picked off. Oh, Boy, should have been. Oh. Defense has done a good job. Third and seven, blitz threatened, and they drop everybody. They rush two and send nine back. Murray, a little confused, but look at all the time he has and throws it away. Turn over through it. Scott Slater from 44 yards away and the wind behind him. And that is perfect. That's his 23rd field goal this year. Sophomore from Fort Worth, a walk-on prior to the season. So the Aggies do manage to get a field goal, but they had hoped for much, much more. They still trail by one. 
Scott Slater getting ready to kick off. And beat back Everett Ross, number five. And uh, surprisingly, they decide to bring it out. And here's the 12th man in action again. He never played, but that's how the 12th man started. And it was 65 years ago today. That's after the 18. Second down and four. 8.45 to go. Oh, quick opener to the left side. George Cooper. And they go with a straight tee once again. And this is not in a short yardage situation. To the fullback. Second down and eight. Tuple with a play fake. Incomplete at the 35. He's the guy with they come again. No. They fake the blitz. Tupa. Oh, what a pass. Chris Carter. 7-6. Ohio State has the lead with 7.24 to go first half. The fullback, George Cooper, number 44. Second down and six, Ohio State. Jamie Holland in motion. There Here's the option. Workman coming left. Chased by Maroon and White. And knocked out of bounds. Quarterback keeper. And that shouldn't be enough to move the chain. Going into the win, this has been a most impressive Ohio State drive. And they have the total offense lead thus far. The blitz is threatened by the Aggies. See if they're coming. They are. Quick step. And if that doesn't uh, get completed, it might have gone for a bundle. Second down and five. And again, the Aggies threaten the blitz. Pitch out, right side of the short side of the field. Workman, first down, Ohio State. 5-12 remaining first half. Ohio State with the lead and a first down. Jamie Holland in motion. Play fake, Cooper looking left toward Holland and fires it toward Jamie Holland. And it's bobbled and picked off. Larry Kell, number 65, on the rebound. Kevin Murray with the Aggies, right on target. Tony Thompson, the sophomore from Houston. We've got Pat O'Brien and Jim Nance with us as well. The Yankees have a first down and 10, and Keith Woodside breaks loose to the 42. Second down, about a foot. Woodside sets up left side, up the middle. Roger Beck. Reveille 5 is enthused by what's going on, the mascot of AM. Murray, little soft flip, Woodside, left side, out of bounds. First down. Good for 16 yards and an AM first down. Here's the option. And a dangerous pitch, and Beck is hit for a loss. And now Ira Valentine is the AM fullback. Four man rush for Ohio State. Oh, what a pass by Murray. What a gorgeous pass. It's incomplete. And they trail 7 6. Murray. Thompson's there. Pass over to Barney. 53 yard attempt now for Scott Slater. He's two of two today. Has the wind behind him. That's got plenty of distance. And it's no good to the right. So Scott Slater is two out of three and is on first down. Carter to the left, the other two are wide right. And a trip set that they haven't used that much this year. This is a new formation. Pass right side is caught. Second and five. 2.08 to go in the first half. Cooper, who batted back in his face. Rod Sadler, number 99. Third and five. And again, the trip set to the left side. Reverse, Jamie Holland. Oh, he's got it. Wide open. And he cut back when he might have gone to the outside. And got Other than that, they have not been in this state. First down and 10 now, and two for the blitz is coming. Pass left. Oh, ho, ho. second and 10. Buckeyes lead. They fake the draw play. Tupa goes deep. Double coverage down the right side. And that'll be out of bounds. <laughs> Ohio State is 6 of 7 on third down conversion. Reverse. Or the option, rather. Workman. Johnny Holland chases him. And then he takes a belt from Jeff Holly. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Now, where will they oh, mark it? Yeah. At the nine. nine. And Kevin Murray, who's been a little inconsistent in the first half, will pitch it out on first down. 
51 seconds to go. The handoff up the middle. He's Woodside. Into the ball game in the first half has definitely been a success for Ohio State. Ira Valentine, and now with four seconds remaining in the first half, Todd Schantz is on. There's mm. a little pressure on Schantz, and he wow. sails one. All the way back to the 26-yard line. <laughs> well, that's why they call him the long-range putter. <laughs> Jim Nance coming up in just a moment. We'll be right back after this message and a word from your local stations. This is the 15th consecutive year in which Ohio State has found itself playing in a bowl game. At the five is Harris. Gets it back as far as the 18-yard line. a and doesn't mind being behind. John Elam, number 57, is the setter to start the second half. Wilson's out with an injury. And Vic is in the starting lineup, but Bernstein in motion. Wes is coming. May have come before the snap, Jim Garvey. The offensive player reacted to the defense in the neutral zone. There is no foul. <laughs> I knew he'd have the answer. <laughs> Key offensive line spot for the Aggies. Well, before the ball is snapped. Motion call against a and Half, and if Murray overthrew or underthrew, because there's some pressure on it, Ohio State did a very good job of pressuring him. Second and eight. And it'll be third and eight. This Buckeye defense has held opponents to only 32% of third down conversions. And here's Murray with a little bit of pressure intercepted. Picked off by Chris Thielman. And he might get in. Touchdown. for a first down. First down, 10, A&M. Split backs, two wide receivers to the right, and Murray with a straight drop back. That's on target at the 34-yard line. They come to the left side. Roger Vick breaks two tackles. Across midfield to the 47-yard line. For a one-yard loss. Murray will throw on first down. Across the middle, Bernstein to the 40-yard line. No, is it intercepted? Yes! Sonny Gordon, number seven. And his se seventh interception. Jim Carsados back in at quarterback to start the second half with the option play to give the fullback. That's George Cooper, number 44. You point our cameraman and people are trucked did a great job. Carsados, flag is down. And Most, there was nothing wrong with Carsados in that second quarter. Indeed, he had played very well early. And here he goes deep and plays well in the third period. Oh, wow. Harris. First down from the 31, a 14-6 Ohio State lead. Jim Bryant, number 41, the freshman, 9.35 to go, third quarter. Buckeyes lead 14-6. Blitz is coming. Marsados in the face of the blitz, fires incomplete in the end zone. They do have a third and eight now from the 29. Let's look that. again. See if they gamble. They're coming. Quick screen. Nate Harris gets a terrific block. Oh, what a dandy block he got on the wing. From first down 10, Ohio State. Carsados has been terrific in the one quarter plus uh, five minutes in which he's played. Eight out of 12 now. Slip to the fullback. Cooper, who drives to the 10-yard line. Now his wife gave him that new hat for Christmas. Oh. He saw two defenders to Carter's side and tried to get out of the play. He's in motion now and goes way to the left side. And Carsados looks short, caught. Chris Carter, let's look from the Aggies. 
Motion call, Harris. Option play, pitch to the boundary side of the field. Touchdown, Ohio State. Great call. And watch a lead block by Jeff Davidson, number 50, who is starting in place of Hewlett Hake this afternoon and got Workman into the touchdown. This is a beautifully conceived play on the part of the Buckeyes. Great call. It's been a nice game played thus far by the Ohio State Buckeyes. Been nine and three so often, it's almost chiseled on his forehead. Seven years in a row. Yeah. That will be a touchback. Since he's been in there, people don't realize that. Aggies trailing by 15. Kevin Murray looking for a spark, comes left side and overthrows. Very interesting. A lot of football to play yet. But you don't need a 340-pounder dance. The Buckeye backup. And I was amazed when they started to talk about how... 7-11 to go third quarter. Swing pass right side. Calvin Whitfield tries to clear the way. Number 54, third down at 13. Murray. There's a man, Shea Walker. That's good for an A&M first down at the 37-yard line. And folks will love me. You retired the trophy. Here's Roger Vick, knocked down at the 35. Here's Kevin Murray. Finds Bernstein to the 41-yard line. They are two of nine on third down conversions in the game. And the Buckeyes are threatening a blitz. Here they come. Murray reads it and overthrows an open Rod Bernstein. Inside pressure by Scott Leach, number eight, really caused the overthrow. Here's the punt by Todd Schantz and the fair catch call by Garcado so far, 9 of 13 for 186. Left side, Cooper, huge hole. Opened up by Bob Maggs. Coach Bruce and his coaching staff kept confidence in us. In turn, we kept confidence in them. And and uh, we had good leadership and, uh, you know, it's a matter of falling on your face and getting up and fight. And, uh... What's threatened by the Aggies? Rodney Anthony, number eight, is in the lineup now. Torrington on the sideline. Here's Garcados. Ooh. That one is picked off. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Jim Garcados. Four-man rush. He's hit. Gets rid of it. And it is dropped. Rod Harris waits for it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. Now what? Harris. Uh, ooh. Ooh. 14 points in the third quarter already for Ohio State. Now Roger Vick mm. gets the handoff, and he gets out to about the 12. And second down and 8, 3.29 to go, third quarter. Draw play. Roger Vick, number 43, out near the 20-yard line. First and 10, final three minutes, third quarter. On first down, puts it out. Roger Vick to the 33-yard line. Back in Ohio State's doing a very good job right now. Okay, quickly, who do you like in the Super Bowl? Well, I think the two best teams are playing this Sunday, and that's the board. Oh, yeah, there's a little monkey's bottom back there. Second down and 10. Roger Vick. Looks for a block downfield, gets it on William White and is out of bounds. It's with 2.17 to go, third quarter, and the Aggies trying to get something ignited. Kevin Murray. Incomplete. But it's an incomplete pass, and now Todd Schantz, the fifth-year senior, is on the kick. That is an excellent punt into the win. Everett Ross, the 19, and is down at the 25-yard line. Hasn't hit his last three passes, first down and 10. Good formation to the left side. They come to the short side of the field. Vince Workman, number 42. Second down and nine. Option play. Carsados pulls up and goes deep into double coverage. Oh. And ill advised pass for nine. 119 to go third quarter. 21-6. Ohio State leads. Nate Harris in motion to create the foot formation. They try to draw play. And Workman is on the right of the screen was last time out. There Ooh. comes the rush for the block. There is no flag. There was contact made, but Jim Garvey was right on the spot. First and ten. Kevin Murray. 
team. Oh, he just has not been yep. there today. Murray came into the game completing 61% of his passes. He's 10 of 25, and here's the blitz. That one's on target. Jay Walker, 18 seconds to go, third quarter. Roger Vick, sweep right. Mm. High stepping again, another Texas A&M first down. And that is the end of the third quarter of play. Ohio State, with 14 third quarter points, has a 15-point lead. First down and 10 from the 31. Flag is down, Roger Vick is two. It's Ohio State is that kind of team. Two men moving on the offense, decline. Second down and nine. 21-6. Ron Harris out of the backfield, the wide receiver. Murray, wings oh. it, intercepted. Eric Cumro, one time a high school quarterback. 14-25 remaining in this ball game. 21-6, and the Buckeyes have the ball back. And the senior Jim Carsado is the quarterback. Here's the option. It's left, or right, rather. And it's George Cooper, the fullback. First down and 10, Ohio State. And they'll utilize the fullback again, George Cooper. Second down and seven. Motion again. Harris coming to the left side. Play fake, Carsados. Deep oh, left side, oh, intercepted by the Aggies. Alex Morris for the 42-yard line. And a first down for the Aggies, trailing by 15. The inside handoff to Keith Woodside. He's going to try to run it in because he's thrown three interceptions already. You see, there's two runs in a row. That's a toss to the right side. Woodside, again, the ball carrier. On third and five, they are two of 11 on third down conversions. Four-man rush, good pressure, and Murray bobs out of it. Looks for a block and gets it. There's going to be a clip. Oh, I'll fetch you. Now has a first down at 22. High formation. Woodside trying to, trying to follow the block of Roger Vick. Second down and nine. Murray with terrific protection. Marshall Land. <laughs> Won't let anybody close. There's the pass that's dropped at the two. Receiver has to work himself back to the QB. Third and nine. The option play. Kevin Murray. Oh, oh. goal a &M. On first and goal from the five. And Ira Valentine, number 42, has joined Vic. Here's Roger Vic. Does a oh. somersault. Fumble. Bernstein apparently has recovered for oh. the Aggies at the 11. And you look over the shoulder of Michael Key, who's had an outstanding game. Now Harris, the motion man, a three-man rush, four-man rush this time. Murray in trouble. That'll be intentional grounding. How's that hit? Uh-oh, well, mask. Roger Vick to the two-yard line. Woodside comes in motion. Pitch out, right side, Vick. Touchdown, Texas A&M. That's the 11th rushing touchdown for Roger Vick this year. Now the decision to go for two, Pat, what will they try? Here he comes. They look for him, he's knocked off his feet, they lob it deep in the end zone. No good! Team now down 21-12. Scott Slater will kick off, joined by his 10 walk-ons. Everett Ross to return. Oh. And flip. Ohio State 21-12 lead right now. Jackie Sherrill trying to gain some emotional support from the crowd himself. Workman bounces to the outside. Gets by Johnny Holland. Picks up a first down. And they had to run the ball. Then they open up a little. Jim Carsados. Here's the quick pass left side. Nate Ross. That time the attempted block by Workman doesn't work. Second down and 11. Carsados audibles. And he's fighting the 25 second clock now. Calls time. One official threw a flag. Now he's going to go pick it up. 
delay a game. That's not the right cut. And Earl Bruce is on the field. See if they come or drop back. Brooks is coming. And they do drop back. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Boy! Now let's see if Garcados gets it off. Mm. Now the crowd gets with it. Garcados on third and 16. Unbelievable! That's it's Carter, Carter, of course. Guess who? Steve. Flag down. It's going to be called back. And Ohio State now has a third down and 21. Jamie Holland starts in motion. Here comes the blitz. Garcados rolls out, puts oh, it up incomplete. Oh. He was belted. Oh, they have the return on all the way. That's a nice punt. Harris, no oh. fair catch, and is down at the 43-yard line. They need two scores. Two wide receivers left, one to the right. Reverse. And a terrific defensive job basketball. Here's Murray, 11 of 27. Oh. Fourth interception of the game. And it's the second interception for Chris Fieldman. A first down now for Ohio State with a 21-12 lead. Workman comes left. Jim Carsados playing his final game for the Buckeyes. Had a hot first quarter. Hobson play to the fullback. Buckeyes lead at 21-12. Here's the reverse. Fumbled. Jamie Holland. Trying to get out of an Aggie jail. It'll be fourth down. Waits at the 40-yard line. And again, the return is on. Tupa into the wind. That's short. Harris comes up, lets it bounce. Takes an Aggie roll. And picked off. That was not touched. Jamie Holland. <laughs> and Kevin Murray plagued with interceptions. Oh. And now plagued up the middle by Darrell Lee. In the backfield. Second down and 18. Four-man rush, Murray in between two defenders and Keith Woodside. Nebraska leads. Here it's third and 14, and Kevin Murray back to throw. Intercepted for the fifth time. That's a new cotton ball record. It's Michael Key, and he's got one man to beat. Touchdown, Ohio State University Buckeyes. The 51-year history of the Cotton Bowl Classic, the previous longest interception return for a touchdown was that of Quizzer White. <laughs> Colorado against Rice in 1938, 47 yards for a touchdown. Darrell Lee, number 95, right here. He's going to get his arm on, on the ball as Murray is releasing it right there, and that caused the interception. Darrell Lee has raised havoc all afternoon. Michael Key knocks Wizard White out of the record books, and the Aggies into defeat. With the acquisition of new rights for the NCAA television contract in college basketball. Here are the Aggies coming back, and uh, Rod Harris, new quarterback now for the Aggies, is Craig Stump out of Port Arthur, Texas. But he was a high school senior, one of the most widely recruited quarterbacks in the state. Tackle. is the only one they lose and of course Gordon the rest of them are back on the defensive side that is an incomplete pass and the Scovels as well Field and his wife Mary and son John daughter of Diane Keith Woodside number 33 51st Cotton Bowl Classic Everett Ross first down and 10 Dive play to George Cooper. On second down and seven with 105 remaining. Jim Bryant, freshman. Final 30 seconds. And one of a happy contingent from Ohio State. Here's the pitch. 
and it was uh, Rick and the staff that made the decision to come to the Cotton Bowl. And they have won it for Earl Bruce and the champions of the 51st Cotton Bowl Classic, the Ohio State Buckeyes. forever. <laughs> then that suit and tie and shirt. That's right. You know, they used to call them all nine and three Earl. Not anymore. Not anymore. Ten and three has a nicer ring to it. How about the day for Jim Carsados? Ten of 21 for 195 yards in his final game as a Buckeye. Enjoy the vacation in Acapulco, Jim. 